Hey everyone, so welcome back. Today I have a get ready with me. The other day I actually went to a Maybelline event and I was just getting ready for that and I was in such a rush. That's why this is a get ready with me in a rush video. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to get this look and the first thing I did was kind of clean up my parting with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. If you want a clean parting then definitely try out this technique. I also went in onto shaving my face I do this when I need to basically before doing my makeup sometimes I do it at night time I would actually recommend doing it at night time because then you're not putting your makeup on top of it but either way like it works fine for me um so yeah I'm just cleaning up my hairline my brows and getting rid of the stash the mustache we don't need that okay unless you you want to rock it like my mum does so either way it's all right <laughs> I'm now using the benefit brow precisely pencil in the shade 6 I really really like this brow pencil you guys know this and yeah I'm just filling my brows in and then I went in with my NYX gotcha covered concealer as always and cleaned up the brows this one's in a shade golden if you're new to my channel I love this concealer for my brows if you're not then you guys know the drill I'm just carving them out and then after that I'm using again the 24 hour brow setter to set my brows in place. I really like this brow gel because it just really accentuates each brow hairs and really separates them and keep them in place. So yeah. Now to skin I'm using the Smashbox primerizer and I'm just going to apply this on my face. I then also use the Body Shop Skin Defense which is my SPF 50. I always go out with SPF even if it's night time, I don't know, just still wear it, it's okay. And then my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, I'm just going to put that on the top. I know I put a lot of stuff on my skin but at the end of the day like it works for me and I'm protecting my skin and it's still hydrated and my foundation doesn't go oily throughout the day so I don't know, they all work for me. Now I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I get so many compliments when I wear this foundation so I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I really love her foundation. I feel like I need to get like two or three bottles for my mum and my sister because they keep asking me about it and I'm almost running out on my own but it's just so good. I don't even need a colour corrector with this one and I don't look super oily or like super shiny with this one. It's just a nice level of, I don't know, dewiness to it because I add dewiness but it doesn't get oily throughout the day because I do get an oily t-zone sometimes but anyways I'm going to stop brabbering I'm using the makeup revolution concealers the full coverage ones I'm using the shade c12 on my lids and under my eyes and I'm also using c10 over c12 under my eyes and on the bridge of my nose and my forehead and just blending all of that out with my damp beauty blender but yeah I actually really love these concealers and they held up so well, they photograph so well, they don't cake, they don't dry out and I do have a review on it so I'll link it in the info box but they're so good, I really like them. Now I'm using the Kat Von D loose setting powder to set the, that concealer in place and I'm not putting too much powder, just putting a little bit because sometimes I like to go too much on the powder, you know, I just slap it on but I don't need that much powder so... I'm being a bit careful and I also like to set other areas of my face like my smile lines, my chin and my forehead. Now I'm just putting some of my Wonder Kiss lip plumping gloss because my lips were dry as hell. So after that I am going in with the Makeup Revolution concealer in C15 which is more of like a contour shade, contour slash bronzing and I'm just buffing that out. I also like to use my beauty blender to kind of soften the edges and make it not look as harsh. But I don't know, I've been really into cream contouring lately because it just makes my face look so much more structured because I've got such big cheeks. So it kind of gives it a bit more definition, you know. And I also like to go around like my hairline area just to bronze the perimeter of my face. You can also do your nose but sometimes it gets super lazy and I was in a rush anyway so I didn't have time to do it. But this is contouring in a rush for you. <laughs> Here I'm using um, one of the Nanchi brushes from a set that I received so I'll link that in the info box as well. I love that those brushes because they're so like soft and they blend really nicely. I'm just cleaning up the contour with my foundation brush and brushing off all the excess powder with this Real Techniques blush brush. And then I also added some um, bronzer, which is the NYX matte bronzer in deep, just to set the cream contour in place. I definitely recommend setting your creams so that they don't budge and they don't become patchy throughout the day. 
I'm just blending, guys. I'm just blending. <laughs> After that, I think I went on to highlighter, and the highlighter I used was the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion Highlighter or Pro Fusion Highlighter um, in number two. But I'll link everything in the info box as always. And I'm just applying this on my cheekbones, my bridge of the nose, temples. I think that's it. I like to go a bit overboard on my highlighter, you guys know. But now I'm using my Smashbox Primer Water. I'm actually running out, sadly. I need to get some more. But yeah, I love this stuff to just set everything in. It just melts everything in and it just works so well. And then after that, I went onto my eyes. I grabbed my Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. And I'm first using the shade, I think it was Sandalwood. I think it's Sandalwood. And I'm a passing this on the outer V area I wanted to do something really simple because I wanted to like make my lashes stand out so yeah I just defined the outer corner of my eyes I did also go in with the shade Coco just to make it a bit more deeper um, and only a little bit I didn't put too much of Coco and also put some on my lower lash line as well and then here I'm grabbing the shade Bay and I use that to really add light to my mobile lid area and these shadows blend so nicely like you, you just need the min most minimal effort oh my god I don't know how to speak English <laughs> but basically they just they just blend so effortlessly and they look really nice on the lid and again I'm putting some more cocoa as you can see here on my lower lash line I really wanted to look like it's an effortless smoky eye kind of look funny enough I was actually filming part of this video while there was this guy in our kitchen repairing our hob over the cooker and he was just like what the hell's going on in here but it was just so random and funny but I had to act normal <laughs> so now I'm using some of my Clinique um, high impact eyeliner in black and black and I'm just applying this on my lower and upper waterline I feel like applying a black eyeliner to your waterline makes such a difference it just defines your eyes so much more but yeah I'm just doing that on both eyes wow why am I taking so long oh my god I was such in a rush that I was making so many mistakes <laughs> I was getting so annoyed so then when I was done with that, I did go in and curl my lashes. I think this one's from Avon or number seven. I don't remember. But any eyelash curler will do. Apparently the Shiseido ones are really good. I need to try that one. The Bobbi Brown one is really good too. Now I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. My favourite. My favourite mascara. And I, I literally applied a ton of this because I really wanted my eyes to look really open and with really big lashes. You guys know I like that kind of look. Um, so yeah, I applied a bunch on the top and bottom lashes. As you can see here, I am a, like showing more of what I'm doing because some of you said that you don't like it when it's too rushed. So yeah, that's why I'm kind of showing more of the clips when I'm putting my makeup on. Maybe this is a bit too much. I need to find that balance because <laughs> I don't know what to say. So now onto my lips. I'm just wiping off the excess gloss. Can you see how it just plumps your lips? And I use my MAC lip pencil in cork. I literally haven't been using this lip pencil in such a while because it, was, it wasn't it was sharpened and I didn't have a sharpener and I couldn't be bothered to buy one or find one. So I just left it on my desk and never used it for a while. But yeah, I just applied this on the perimeter of my lips and kind of filled the edges in and I'm going in with my Huda Beauty liquid matte in Girlfriend and I applied this all over my lips it's just a good nude and it makes your lips this combo makes your lips look really really plump I really like this combo lip combo I mean um, but yeah I think that's it guys did I do anything else I don't think I did I think that's the end of this tutorial oh I put some more mascara on <laughs> As always, like I said, I did put a, a lot of mascara on. But anyways, that's the end of this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you want more Get Ready With Me's. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!